Microsoft Teams tutorial in 10 minutes. Hey team players, whether you're working from home, managing a remote team, or just collaborating on a project, Microsoft Teams is a powerhouse tool that you will need to master. In this tutorial, we will cover everything from setting up to key features. So let's get you up and running fast. Now, firstly, what you're going to do is you're going to need to get Teams. So if your organization uses Microsoft 365 or any Microsoft suite process, you probably already have access to this. Now, for this, what you do is you head over to teams.microsoft.com or you can even download the app for your desktop or mobile. You can sign in with your work or school account and if you're using it personally, you can sign in with a free Microsoft account. And creating an account is really simple. It's really seamless, fast, and totally free. So to do it, what you do is you actually go over to sign in. Now, once you go to sign in, what Teams does is it brings you to its sign up portal. Now, once you come to the sign up portal, let me show you what the actual login page or sign up page actually looks like. And let me show you how the onboarding is going to be working. So it's going to bring you to this section where it says trying to sign you in. Now, obviously, my account was already made. And as you can see, Teams has successfully signed me in directly into my Teams. But obviously, in the case that you don't have an account, creating an account is really simple. It's a really easy process to do for yourself, and you can work around with it really nicely. So what it basically constitutes and what it looks like is something like this. So I'm going to sign out from my account. And I'm going to show you how actually creating an account is so seamless and so straightforward. It's a pretty quick step process. All you need to do is create an account with Microsoft Outlook. Now, if you have created any email account out there like Gmail or anything like that, this is just like it. OK, the, there is no special work that goes into creating an account like this. So here it's going to say pick an account. It's going to ask you which account you actually want to move forward with or which account you actually want to use when you're operating your Microsoft Teams. So here it's going to be welcoming you to Teams and you can see very seamless, very quick, very nice user interface as well. The main interface is even better. The learning curve is so small that you're going to be absolutely attracted to it. Now, as you can see, this is what it's generally going to be looking like. You will see the main interface on the left. There is a whole sidebar with icons for activity. So you have chat, meet, communities, calendar and activity down here. You can also work with calendars and even files. So let's go ahead and start with chat. All right, this is your hub for all your direct messages. So what you do is you come here and click on new chat. And as you can see, you can start a conversation with anyone in your organization. You can send texts, emojis, files, or even schedule a meeting from right here. So as you can see, I can text. And then as we go on emojis, images, you can attach files and even show different formatting options and set different delivery options. Now, this is where you basically add in your contacts. So enter, you know, their names, emails, phone numbers, whatever you want. It's all doable. Next up, Teams. These are basically going to be your collaboration spaces that you can actually find here in communities. Now, in the case that you don't have this, you can actually create your own because if you work with a school or business hub organization, they're already going to have a proper community that you can chat with over here. You can also build it from scratch or use a template. So to do this, click on create your own and you can start a template. So if you uh, are making a school organization, you can do it from here, business from here, sports, professional. So let's say I want to go with professional and I'm going to click on create. Now, once you click on create, as you can see here, a community has been created that people can actually interact on. It's basically a blog space that people can share different types of information, different types of uh, project files, etc. Now, once you're actually inside this, you can also see that your channel 
has subchannels or subsections for specific topics. For example, a marketing team might have channels for social media, events, and even content. Now in each channel, you will find tabs at the top for posts, files, and even photos. Now this obviously depends on you and how you want to use it. Now the post tab is mainly where the discussions happen. Like a group chat, the files tab over here is going to store documents shared in that channel, all synced with SharePoint. And you can also add tabs for apps like Planner or even OneNote to supercharge your workflow and totally automate it with all these great softwares and applications. Now, let's actually go over to the main powerhouse, which is Meet. So what you can do over here is you can actually create proper meetings. So if you've used Google Meet or even if you've used Zoom, you know how this is going to work. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. All you do is you go over to create a meeting link, which instantly creates a meeting for you. You can share it out with people and people can obviously join through the link that you provide them. And you can also move over to scheduling a meeting. Now, scheduling a meeting is pretty simple as well because you can choose what timeline or what time period you actually want this meeting to be. So you can give it a title, you can give it proper time and also add in the people's contacts or details that you want to have in this meeting. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple and it's really easy and seamless to use. And as you can see previously in the video, I did tell you that the user interface is really fun to get along with. And not only is the learning curve so small, but also you can get affiliated with it absolutely instantly. And that's what I absolutely love about Microsoft Teams. There's no hassle in learning it and there is no general you know, issues that people arise in. Now, during the call, you can also share your screen, use background effects or break into smaller groups with breakout rooms. So in one call, you can create different rooms. Now, Teams also has this amazing feature to record all your meetings automatically. So if you do enable it for perfect, you know, seamless working and recording, it's great for catching up later. Now, finally, you can also explore the activity section. Now, this is for managing all your contacts and notifications. And obviously, do not forget the actual apps. Now, generally, you can't use apps on the free program. You will need to upgrade your Microsoft Teams. So it's pretty seamless and great to work with. Now, once all of this is done, basically, this is all the information you actually need to start working with Microsoft Teams in a very easy and seamless way. So that is basically the main idea about Teams. And that is it in a nutshell. Master all these basics and you'll be collaborating like an absolute pro. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below. Till then, that is all from me and I'm going to be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.